Well, hello YouTube, this is I, this is Ruben Limo, and today's study on how to follow Christ in episode 5 is about the Holy Spirit. So, I'm going to read the introduction first. Uh, Jesus depended on, upon the Holy Spirit in his daily ministry on earth. The Holy Spirit came down upon him at the River Jordan. Uh, before that, Jesus never preached a sermon or performed a miracle. After that, he, he, did what, he did everything by the power of the Holy Spirit. As Jesus was about to go into heaven, he made a promise to his disciples. He promised that he would send them the Holy Spirit from heaven. He did this so they would have the Holy Spirit. Spirit. The promise was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. When they were all baptized in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was their helper and supplier of all their spiritual needs. Note, Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost are two different ways of saying um, of the same thing. There's no difference in meaning of the Spirit of God. So the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost is the two different titles for this for the Spirit of God. So let us begin. Question one says, with what did God the Father anoint Jesus uh, for his earthly ministry? Uh, Acts chapter 10 verse 38 suggests the Holy Spirit and power. So when Jesus got the Holy Spirit, he got the power to do his ministry through the Holy Spirit. Uh, Question 2 says, What did John the Baptist see descending upon Jesus? John chapter 1 verse 32, John chapter 1 verse 33, I mean 32 to 33 says a dove. So the dove was basically an animal symbol, it was basically the Holy Spirit coming down upon him as a dove. Because that, uh, a dove represents peace and because Jesus came here to, as peace to take away our sins, that's what he was doing. Uh, question 3 says, what did Jesus say about what Jesus say was upon him, enabling him, enabling him to preach and to minister to those in need? Luke chapter 4 verse 18 suggests the Spirit of the Lord or the Holy Spirit. Question 4. By what power did Jesus say he could cast out devils? Matthew chapter 12 verse 28 suggests the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Um, question 5. Whom did Jesus say he would send to his disciples from the Father after he himself returned to heaven? John chapter 14 verse 16, 26 and John chapter 15 verse 26 suggests the Holy Spirit. Question 6. What other term does Jesus use to describe the Helper or the Holy Spirit? Um, John chapter 14 verse 17 and John chapter 15 verse 26 suggest they are advocate advocate here. Yeah. Uh, question 7. There's two things that Jesus says about the Holy Spirit that that will do for the disciples. Um, John chapter 14 verse 26 suggests he'll teach you everything, so he'll teach you everything about God if you're open to him too. And two, he'll remind you of what I have said, so he'll remind you of, of what Jesus had taught them. Question 8. What other way does Jesus say that the Holy Spirit will help the disciples? Um, John chapter 16 verse 13 declare to you the Holy, declare to you the things that are to come so the Holy Spirit will reveal to them the future events that are meant to happen in their lives or in the future uh, question 9 says list two things in which the Holy Spirit will, will reveal Jesus to his disciples will reveal Jesus to his disciples so John chapter 15 verse 26 says he'll testify on my behalf. So the Holy Spirit will testify or represent Jesus on his behalf. John chapter 16 verse 4 John chapter 16 verse 14 says uh, he will give glory because he, he he because his will is what is mine and will declare it to you. So basically Jesus's will is also the Holy Spirit's will and he will do uh, Jesus's will which is based on earth which is the Holy Spirit's will exactly the same question 10 what did Jesus say about the Jesus say that the disciples would receive power to become witnesses for him in Jerusalem Acts chapter 1 verse 8 suggests the Holy Spirit that comes upon them so the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit will come upon the disciples to give them power to do the ministry of Jesus after he after he descended into heaven Question 11. What did, the jo what did John the Baptist tell the people that Jesus would do for them? Um, Mark chapter 1 verse 8 says, 
Yes. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. So when, instead of being baptised with water, being cleaned from their sins, he'll baptise them with the Holy Spirit to be made a new creation and to have a public declaration that they're following Jesus and that they have a new life in them. They have a new way of following God, basically, because they have the Holy Spirit in them. Because they actually have God in them. Question 12. What promise did Jesus give to his disciples just before he went into heaven? Acts chapter 1 verse 5 suggests they were baptised with the Holy Spirit. So basically when they baptised with the Holy Spirit they started speaking in tongues and um, that's the evidence of being baptised with the Holy Spirit. Uh, question 13 suggests, uh, says, what did Jesus tell the disciple, disciples to do until his promise should be fulfilled? Luke chapter 24 verse 49 says, stay in the city until you've been clothed in power from on high so that basically that power clothed from on high was receiving the holy spirit and then that power come with him uh question 14 on what day did the holy spirit come to the disciples as promised by jesus pent and in acts chapter 20, 20 in acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 uh, yeah in acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 it says on pentecost and question 15 says, Why could the Holy Spirit not be given to disciples during the earthly ministry of Jesus? And John chapter 7 verse 39 says, Jesus was not glorified. But well, he couldn't come because he was on earth and he, he was still a man so he could not be glorified until he went into heaven. Because he had yet to fulfill his destiny and then he'd be glorified for doing, fulfilling his destiny. Question 16. After Jesus had returned to to his position of glory at the right hand of God, what did he, he receive from the Father? Acts chapter 2 verse 33, the Holy Spirit suggests. So basically, Jesus received the Holy Spirit and then sent him to earth for all uh, genuine followers of Christ. Question 17. How could the unbelievers present that Jesus uh, had poured out the Holy Spirit upon his disciples? Acts chapter 2 verse 33 suggests they hear and see about it so when they hear about the holy spirit and they see evidence of the holy spirit being manifested among them um then they know then the unbelievers the people who hadn't seen christ uh would know when they'd see the evidence of the holy spirit working among among them then they'd realize that uh jesus had come and sent his holy spirit to help them have a relationship with jesus question 18 what could these unbelievers hear the disciples do through the power of the Holy Spirit? Acts chapter 2 verse 7 to 11 is speaking in their languages. So the um, people who didn't believe in Jesus, the disciples started speaking in their languages and so they could understand them and it still happens today where um, some pastors who are in deep relationship with God, they suddenly start speaking in tongues and they, they may not understand it but it turns out and someone will confirm it to them that it's an actual language of them. Uh, of their nationality or their ethnicity question 19 upon whom <clears throat> does god promise to pour out his spirit at the close close of this age acts chapter 2 verse 17 says all people so all so at the end of the age when the rapture happens there's going uh, and before that there's going to be outpourings of the holy spirit and loads of people can get saved uh question 20 to whom does Peter say that the promised gift of the Holy Spirit is made available? Acts chapter 2 verse 39. For you and your children. So if, you're, if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, and then the Holy Spirit will come into you, and then you can receive, if you ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and believe it with all your heart, then it shall happen. And last question. 21. What, gi what good gift will God the Father give to all his children who ask him for it? Luke chapter 11. Verse 13 is the Holy Spirit. So when you ask for the Holy Spirit, he'll come into you. And today's memory verse is Acts chapter 2, verse 38 to 39. So if you've heard this and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour and you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit to have a, and you want to know God and Jesus, pray this prayer after me. God, I come to you today. I believe you sent your son Jesus to die and cross my sins and that he shed his blood, and that he rose again. God, 
I believe I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash me with Jesus' blood and make me clean. And, and, ask the, and I ask the Holy Spirit to come into my life so that I can have a relationship with you, Jesus. And please help me to have a good relationship with you from here on in. And I acknowledge you as my personal Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, congratulations. If you prayed that prayer, you're now a follower of Christ. Well done. So, what I suggest you do now is you know, get this self-study Bible course by Derek Prince. It teaches you the basics of Christianity. And if you want to get a Bible uh, to like to get to know God more and like to read about and and not just read it as a story, but but think, hmm, what do, how does these words apply to me in my real in real life? I'll get a new spirit fill filled life bible it's a really in-depth commentary bible it really explains the, uh, the, the scriptures to you and then go to uh, a church i'd suggest a pentecostal or a baptist church because they're more flexible with the holy spirit controlling the services and uh, then i'd ask uh, for a baptism which is basically a public declaration in front of people that you've accepted christ as your lord and savior and then ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, as we just suggested, so that the Holy Spirit will become fully manifested in you, and there'll be evidence of that, which is basically speaking in tongues, which you can read in the Bible, and I'll get on to a much later date. If you have any questions, say in the comments below, anything in general like that, uh, and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, and all the likes and subscriptions. I, I really appreciate it, all the views. Please keep it up. Bye.